Well, I like the fact that the people, you can walk out your door and you know everyone. That's nice. I go to Cruise Street because my job takes me down there most days because I have to do obviously the post and um, so most days I do go down the market and it's a local market so we tend to go down there we, we tend to know everybody down there you know they lots of people know me and they say hello. It's really I find it quite pleasant to work here because people are really open and friendly as you said. Poppy used to be like pop really really nice and like with loads of green fields and stuff. My name's Lillian, so that's after a flower, Lily of the Valley. The meaning of Georgia is a farmer. Can you tell us what your name means? My name is after Mia. Mean is after, mean is, you know, the sun. Probably the location is good, the people is nice here. That's why I love this area. Poplar Bars has been sitting there for, that used to, I used to go there when I was little, and that used to be a fantastic swimming pool, you know, and, the best thing was coming out and getting your toast and your tea like when you used to come out of swimming. But it used to be brilliant. But the market used to be in the street. The last time it was in the market, I can't even remember that far back, it's got to be about oh, 100 years ago. Long time ago. I know Kenny means handsome. Because my mother decided, because I was handsome, she decided to give me that name. My, my nan used to have a shop in Chris Street, greengrocer's shop during the war, but the bombs dropped on the shop, obviously and destroyed it, and that's why then she come into Chris Street Market, into the street. That's free opening, that's about one and a half P. So there's a cabbage there for one and a half P, and that's 1962. This whole area was hit very badly during the Second World War, the Blitz, it was hit very badly. Well, my mum, who's sitting right here next to me, she survived the war. She was evacuated during the war. She survived. She lived here all her life. She didn't like being evacuated, so she came back home. She lived and worked in London during the whole of the war. My sister, I was there a day, and my sister come and got me. I couldn't be away from home. I missed my family. I was only there a day, I was home. I know before they put all the flats where I live up, it was just the waste ground and they were just building because I used to come across the, the debris where I live now with my mum to get into Chris Street. That's when it was being built, 1951. Festival of Britain. My name is Jalal Ahmed. When I came, it's okay. Not, not very good, but it's okay, normal. My sister-in-laws all came to this school and thought it was hay curry at that time. Also, we didn't have a dining room. We had to go to the local church to have our food. The boys and girls had separate entrances. Because it's been quite um, harder to get around school because of all the building works and scaffolding. Then once it's finished, it's going to be like amazing. Um, we've got a couple of parks that are around here, but other than that, every little bit of ground just seems to be built on, and it's a shame because it's just getting like concrete jungle. Oh, the DLRs are godsend because we didn't have the DLR just outside our, our school. A lot of the students use it, it's so convenient for them if they live on the island or Stratford Way. Um, and the teachers, obviously, they find it, and, and even me at the weekends. It's thriving, Poplar. They're building lots of new residents and they're regenerating the market. So that space there was a small car park. When we heard that there's going to be a big block of flats there, we thought, how oh, are they going to get a fl flats on that bit of land because it's so small? But as you can see, it didn't go wide, it went up. Because, you know, obviously now, in this area, you can only go up. you still got that way with people. People kind of get on and there's a, a nice atmosphere amongst people. You can walk out the door and you can say hello to someone, people talk to you back. I, I've always lived here, I was brought up here, so to me it's like family. Everyone's like family to you. My name is Umi. It means mother. The meaning of Lauren is Laurel. The meaning of Jemima is a dove. It's Beyonce and it means beyond others. My name is Teddy. The meaning of my name is like God's gift. <laughs> um, my name is Nyla and it means being successful. Jay means um, a talkative person. 
My name is Nasif. It means miracle. My name Shuob means a person who shows the right path. My name is Aaron and I think it means golden. My name is Vahira and it means being a skilled female. Charlotte. It means strong. <laughs>